Now, if you play IW on the Xbox, then you probably know about the issue where you and your friends are not able to join each other's games. And you're probably saying right now, Reverts, why are you talking about an issue on the Xbox when you are a PS4 player? I actually really don't want to talk about that too much in this video. However, if you guys are wondering, Infinity War did put out a message over on Reddit slash Infinite Warfare saying that they should have the problem fixed by today. And also, there will be some sort of a special reward for you Xbox players as compensation for this issue. But uh, like I said, I don't want to talk about this too much. Instead, I want to talk about the problems that have been turning me off of Infinite Warfare recently, and it's little issues like this. Now, what I'm talking about is just game plaguing issues that should not be happening in a Call of Duty game. Like, yeah, I know everyone makes mistakes, including game developers, but nothing like this has ever happened from any of the three developing studios that make Call of Duty games. And the funny thing is, Infinity Ward literally made a promise. They made a commitment by saying that the fix for the party of glitch should come out on Thursday, and then we get an update on Reddit saying that it's been pushed back to Friday. Friday. And yeah, I'm not an Xbox player, so I don't really care about this glitch at all. But like I said, it's just these little things that should not be happening for a COD game. Another example is the Protoss aimbot glitch. Like, how does that even happen? Did Infinity Ward even test out the weapon before they made it public? Or even the Jitter modders, are you going to do anything with those players? Are you going to fix that? I mean, it's just like little things like this that should not be happening for a Call of Duty video game. Heck, even when the game first came out, I remember there was a glitch with Synaptic that literally made you fly around the map. And looking back at all these issues that this year's Call of Duty game has had, it really makes me scratch my head in confusion, disbelief, and a little bit of anger. Now, I can go on for a good amount of time talking about the issues with Infinite Warfare, but I don't want to do that instead I want to talk about this one issue that kind of screwed over the entire player base so back in December for the 12 days of Christmas event there was a glitch that allowed players to get a unlimited amount of keys and salvage and uh, ever since then there was a large majority of players that had some of the best weapons in the game if not all of the weapons in the game including a massive amount of salvage that would in return let them purchase any of the new weapons that came out to the prototype lab and the only form of punishment those players got was just a simple two-day ban there was no inventory wipe of those players that got the weapons illegally purchased if you want to get technical about it and Infinity Ward even said on a update over on Reddit that there would be another form of punishment for those players but I think they just said that in hopes of everything to just blow away because there has been nothing for those players but again ever since that glitch players have been running around with the best weapons in the game like the MV4 and just some of the best guns in the game so I don't know ever since then that's what kind of turned me off from this game a little bit but in terms of the gameplay I really didn't mind that too much and I do have a lot of fun playing with my friends but just looking back at this year so far Far. It really was a weird one from just the game not even being complete to start off with to today a glitch that does not even allow you to play with your friends on the Xbox. Now Infinity Ward has done some good things like giving out brand new weapons for free if you own the season pass or they can also be unlocked through challenges but still to me it seems like there has been way more bad than good for this year's Call of Duty game. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below guys also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and thanks so much for watching I'm a very tough of the day until next time I'll see you guys later.